Anyway, back to this. So when you go to the um, control pad settings, I'll go back to the default and I'll have to re I'm going to have to remap my stick again. So this might be a little bit funny if I make a mistake. So okay, I've defaulted it now. So now this is default. This is for the default Xbox One pad. Um, the buttons are numbered instead of the letters on the pad because that's how PCs read the inputs. Um, the directions are going to be fine, so that's cool. Start and select, they're fine, I didn't have to change those. But this is where it gets interesting. Because it's a default Xbox pad, it's mapped to the square layout on what would be a Mad Cat stick. At the moment, I'm using a Hori stick. Don't know which one this is, I think it's like the VS3 or something. I don't know if you guys can see it, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'm using this. Which has, as you, if you can see it, I don't know, the layout's not the square layout for the coloured buttons. So I have to change this layout. Um, so... No, I didn't say most, I'm just saying some people. But yeah, anyway, back to this, please. Um, yeah, so now I've got to change the layout. To select the button, or to, um, there's two ways of doing it. I can scroll through like this, and um, it will give me the different set. And if I press left and right, it will give me the different available options I have at the moment, which is Xbox controller and keyboard. When I press left and right, to change a button, this is um, I go to I go to what it is, and then so like for light punch, I'll go to it, and I have to press light kick to select the button, regardless of what my light kick is. So I press light kick to select the button, and then it says press your desired key, which is thank god for that so i press what i want my light punch to be and it will change i'm going to quickly go through and just just set my buttons okay now we've got the macros that people need why well, i, I want to test something real quick all right i am unable to map them to the keyboard all right so that is a little bit of a problem oh shit all right yeah that's a little bit of a problem but yeah this was my trick by the way to um to unmap a button, um, if you map two things to the same thing, so I'll use heavy kick because it's the easiest thing you can see. If I map this to heavy kick, heavy kick comes off of there. And it moves over there. So now if I want to get rid of the macros, I select the macro, pick a button I already have. Then I go back to the button that I wanted to be the original button, press it again, and then the button's gone now. And that's how you unmap a button. Although there should, I guess, be an easier way, it's a solution, and I figured that out in two seconds. So I don't know why there's people complaining about it. So yeah, I'm just going to, you know, set Torn and set Record for when I'm in training mode. Set Play and set Loop because I need those buttons. These buttons, apart from sending messages and stuff like that in the... Um, yeah, for, for except, except for the extra, like, minor messages and stuff like that you have to do in the lobbies, which I feel aren't really that important at the moment. Like, these buttons aren't really needed. Because the other places where they're needed, one second me and car game, one bit, one minute. But like another um, place where they're needed, I'll show this real quickly in practice mode. Um, I'll go online and do it. I'm going to host, but I'm not going to invite you straight away. Um, invite only. That's nice. Hey, he's on my list now. He wasn't on my list yesterday. That was another problem, but I think that was a Steam thing. Alright, cool. So I'm going to go into trainer mode real quick, just so I can show this one thing, and then I'll invite you. Select your character. And I really like this song. Select the order. Alright. So now, like, these are the kind of places where you'll see it. You see there at the bottom of the screen, it says light punch and light kick to change pages. But you don't need to do it. That's literally the only other place where I've seen this to be a thing. And as you can see, it's not a problem because you can actually just press left and right at the top. Which is what I've always done on the consoles anyway. Okay, cool. And because, yeah, exactly, because you're on Steam, those messages aren't really very important because you could just send a Steam message. Also, me and Kage, it still won't let me send you an invite. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll host a friend-only game and just search for friend games and you should be able to find me. I 
don't know why it won't let me um oh wait there we go i can invite you here never mind all right so now i'm gonna try play with me hosting me and kage is the guest let's see what the connection bars are saying first before i continue